kept you waiting, huh? Coming up next, it is our main event of the evening between El Diablo and Rampage Jackson. Quentin Rampage Jackson looking to beat down the champion and leave tonight as the new light heavyweight champion. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. El Diablo making his way to the octagon, looking to defend his championship belt. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Diablo set to battle Quinton Rampage Jackson. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight, El Diablo is 31. Jackson is 46. El Diablo is one inch taller. Jackson will have a one inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 63 wins, 30 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, presenting the challenger, Quinton Rampage Jackson! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is 
as a mixed martial artist and holding a professional record of 24 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. All right, this is for the championship up. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. El Diablo. Quick Rampage Jackson. And here we go. The light heavyweight belt is on the line. Tonight's main event of the evening is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Man, coming off that knockout victory in his last UFC fight, his confidence is at an all-time high. It was a spectacular finish. He's looking for more of the same. Nailed oh, it with that, that right, right hand. hand. Big straight punch. That punch had knockout written all over it. He caught him with the head kick. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Powerful kick. Wow, yeah, that's a big hit kick. Boy, the two chances he stopped. Locked him. Swing and a miss. Huge oh, right big right hand. hand. Oh, oh, combination. Head kick. Oh, head kick. Oh, that hook did damage. Big shots. Again! Powerful uppercut. uppercut. There he is! He got the takedown. Half guard here. Swing and a miss. Good job blocking the punch. Oh, he had an uppercut. combinations. Look at this! Takedown! In full guard now. Jackson with a good punch. Back up to his feet again. And he connects. And he parries that shot. Punishing roundhouse kick. Let's take a look here. And there's a nice head kick that lands. And here's another head kick. And here's one more perfectly placed head kick. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Brittany gets us set for round number two. Two. So far, this fight is going according to game plan, at least for the champion. He is dictating where the fight takes place. He is dominating the action. His striking looks outstanding. He's clearly winning this fight.
Jackson with an inside leg kick. He did a nice job blocking the head kick. And huge strikes now. Oh! Joe, he's keeping very busy. Look at the numbers. Total strikes left. Good knee to the body by Jackson. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. That's Get a solid hook. That hook. Hard straight punch. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. In half guard position. El Diablo's pass denied. Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. And they disengage from the clinch. Connected there. Oh, oh got beautiful. Clinch. Trying to stay out of trouble here. Oh, stunning jab. That's wow. a hard uppercut. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Great job defending the double leg takedown. Nice one-two with the right and the left. That huge head kick was blocked. Joey's starting to do some serious damage with those uppercuts here in round two. No doubt about it, Mike. I don't think there could be any debate. He lands a head kick. Hard jab. Oh! Oh! Right on his head! Oh, he's landing at will. Oh! oh. They got rocked again. Oh, he's going to finish it right here. That's nice a big uppercut. uppercut he just landed. Wow. some of the action from this round. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Here we see it from a different angle. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Ariani getting us set for round number three. Championship fight. That last round was an all out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. That connected. Very nice. Jackson's left eye is closing up. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Both men exchanging. And right behind it. Whoa! Big shot. Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly in big, big trouble. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. And let's see that again. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 48 seconds of the third round. 
declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. El Diablo remains the UFC light heavyweight champion. Coming up next, it is our main event of the evening between El Diablo and Primetime. Primetime, working his way to the octagon with only one goal in mind, and that is to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Prime time enters the octagon, looking to become the new UFC champion. El Diablo set to enter the octagon to defend his title. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Diablo set to fight prime time. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Prime time is 27. El Diablo is 31. The reach is identical. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 10 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 193 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, presenting the challenger, Bertan. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. All right. 
This is for the championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. El Diablo. You First one, you ready? Prime you time. Ready? Here go. we go. Five five-minute rounds. White trunks for prime time. Black trunks for the champion. Oh, big kick! Hard straight punch. Big shots. Oh, he missed oh, that he's kick. Oh, rocked here early. Oh man, that leg kick did some damage. Big straight punch. Powerful jab. There's a nice combination. Oh, big body kick. There he is. Oh, got the takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Prime time gets it back to side control. Look at his position. He's getting beat up here, Mike. Let's see what he can do from here. Good ground and pound by El Diablo. Beautifully executed sweep. El Diablo with good connection from the bottom. Wow. Back up to the feet. There he goes with a one-two. Powerful leg kick. Oh, that hook did damage. Oh, Ooh, big right hand. right hand. How good is this? Nice jab. Oh, he's landing at will. Man, he just missed. Excellent feint with the kick. Oh, Rocked him. Oh, oh, he tagged him. He tagged him. He's hurt back. Whoa! Knockout victory. Time now for our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly in big, big trouble. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check out this angle here. Boom! And then he's out. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is calling to stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still. remains the UFC light heavyweight champion. up next, it's a light heavyweight title fight between El Diablo and The Flash. Oh, 
The Flash. Working his way to the octagon with only one goal in mind. And that is to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. El Diablo set to enter the octagon to defend his title. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Diablo set to fight the flash. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. The flash is 24. El Diablo is 32. The flash will have a three inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. The action begins. Our referee in charge of the octagon. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 15 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 203 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, introducing the challenger, the flag. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an ex martial artist, only a professional record of 26 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. El Diablo. Okay, first round, you ready? The flash. You ready? Here go. we go. Title fight. Five. Five minute rounds. White trunks for the flash. Black trunks for the champion. Man, coming off that knockout victory in his last UFC fight, his confidence is at an all-time high. It was a spectacular finish. He's looking for more of the same. Nice jab. El Diablo gets hit with that body kick. He changes his stance. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. He caught him with the head kick. Solid jab. Oh! What an exchange! Hard straight punch. Oh! My goodness! <laughs> Our tail. El Diablo. You first round, you ready? The flash. You ready? Let's Here go. we go! Tonight's main event is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trucks for the flash. Black trucks for the champion. Good job blocking the punch. He's 
Scores with a huge left. Some huge bombs on him from the top. Nasty ground and pound. And this fight is over. Once again, here's our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And here it is from a different angle. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. El Diablo remains the UFC light heavyweight champion.